Okay, one of the questions that a lot of people have for Stacy Yancey about his dog-proof coon trap is the doors on the end, they come off. And a lot of people don't know how to attach them or can't understand and they end up losing them or whatever. So today we're going to show you how to uh, attach these doors to the dog-proof coon trap and you won't have to worry about losing them. Um, there's two ways of doing it. One way is a solid cable that goes through the door um, and through the trap and it holds the doors on. It's a solid cable. I, I really don't like this way. I think uh, if you get a coon in, he, he can chew through this, uh, this cable pretty easy and uh, you'd still end up losing your doors and they're kind of, I, I feel they're kind of hard. I mean, it, this system really works good. This is the one that Stacy sent me the way to do it and uh, I've kind of done it a little bit different now. Um, what I do is I go to a single cable with some stops and uh, the coons will pop these doors off or you'll need to take them off when you bait the trap and, and I like to just spin out of the way and then uh, you can just really easily pop them back on. Um, so that's the way I like doing it is the single cable and that's the way that I'm going to show you how to do it. So a few things you're going to need. Um, this is some 16 inch, inch cable. Uh, you can buy this at trapping supply houses. Um, you're going to need some 16 inch or a 16th of an inch cable stops and you can also get them too at a supply house. A um, few other things you're going to need as far as tools is a tape measure, a drill with a 1 8 inch bit for drilling through metal. Um, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a fairly big one. Um, we kind of use this for prying the springs out of the way so it's not too important what the end looks like. Uh, of course you'll need a hammer. I'll use a pair of vice grips. And if your cable's not already pre-cut, I think you can get it pre-cut at hardware stores. Uh, I'm not too sure because I, I cut all my own cables for my grounders or anything else so I have a cable cutter. And another thing that works really good is a vice. Uh, mine, I got a little one that I can move around my fur shed. Um, so a vise works good, but if you don't have a vise, you don't need one to do this. And you a small piece of plywood, so you, when you're drilling into your doors, you won't drill into your bench. So let's get started here. <coughs> Take your doors off and uh, lay them on your piece of wood here. I painted the inside of here blaze orange, so we'll, we can see what we're doing a little bit later. So the traps don't come like that. First thing I do is I lay my trap, uh, my doors side by side. Then I'll take my drill and uh, you should probably clamp this with a vice grip or anything but I've done this enough that I know what I'm doing. And I will take and go into this corner right here and I will drill a hole. So you'll have a corner or the hole drilled in this corner right here. Next thing I do is they're laying side by side and I will drill the opposite corner on the other door. Basically, this is what you'll have, is you'll have one hole here and one hole here. So that'll be it for the drilling. That's all we'll do there. Next step is uh, I cut my cable. And what you're going to need is, uh, it's basically going to have to be 7 inch piece of cable, 8 inches fine, 7 and a half. But it can't be really any shorter than 7 inches. You measure it out 7 inches. And you cut it, and that's all you're going to need is one, one piece of cable. So, that's enough of the cable. Now what I do here is, is there's, a, there's a, some springs in here. There's a side of the trap that's uh, basically where you set the trap with the trigger and everything, and then the side that you bait it, and it all has a spring in there. And then you'll, you'll see that. But what we do is, we take the side with the spring, and we take our screwdriver, now, if you look, there's a, it's a, it's got an arm on it and it's bent at a 90 degree angle. I like to run my cable on the opposite side of that bend. So then I go in here and I get on the opposite side of that bend and I stick my screwdriver in. Now I leave one circle of the spring open because that, that's where I'm going to put my cable down through. So I get that screwdriver in there. And you just give her a few taps 
And what that does is it leaves you enough room to slide this cable down in here. If you wouldn't do that, you, you wouldn't be able to slide this cable down in here and you'd screw the ends up. And so what I do is I get the cable in and I bring it through and I leave about an equal amount on each side and then I take my screwdriver out and that's all you'll need the screwdriver for. Then what I do is, is I take my doors and the reason you put the and I run the cable through there, the reason you put it on opposite sides is because you'll see here if you screw them on, if you drill them on the same side, they don't work with the way the cable is. So then I slide it through my cable and that's what I'll have is right there. Is I'll have a cable I'm sticking out of each end of the door. Then I take my cable stops and like I said you can buy these at uh, most trapping supply houses got them and you'll need two of them. And I'll take and I'll, and I'll slide this this stop onto the end of this cable. And you don't, you don't want to leave it, uh, you don't want to push it all the way, you just want to leave it on the end of the cable. And then what I use is a vice grips. Um, you can use a swedger or whatever, but a vice grips works really good. These, these stops are made out of aluminum, so I just get that, and basically that one is on. Don't pull on them too hard right now because they will pull off. And I do the same here to the other side, and I'll take my vice grips again, and I'll squeeze that tight. So, basically, um, when I first started doing this, uh, I thought that was going to be enough, but it, it's really not. The, the cable, the cable's stops will pull off like that, and that's why I use my vise. Now, if you don't have a vise, you can just lay this on the concrete and do it. What I do is I lay that cable stop on there, and I give her a few hits with the hammer, and that really, really smashes it down. And then, uh, that's it for the Yancey Dog Proof Trap, putting this the way I attach my doors. As you can see, they're, now when you're baiting and doing anything or get there and the coons got them off, they're, they're not lost. So that's just really a simple way of doing it. Thank you.